Hello and welcome everyone. This is Rafi Chowdhury making my first um, YouTube video of hopefully what will be a series of videos. Um, today I will be playing a five minute game here on, ch on the chess.com server. Um, and um, so let's go ahead and, and post a seat. Um, so we have an opponent rated 12 13. Um, since it's the first video, I didn't want to set a rating range, and um, I just made it, you know, whatever we play. So my, my opponent has just played the move e3. And um, let's go ahead and... Uh, that was irritating. I don't know what just happened. Let's go ahead and start another game. <coughs> okay, we're playing 1457 rated player. All no graphics. That's kind of cool. Alright, e4, c6, Karo Khan defends. He plays d4, I'll play d5. If he takes, I'll go ahead and pre move this capture. Well, I don't want to mess with the video, so maybe I won't. Okay, bishop f5, this is advanced Karo. Um, I will play knight um, here, I'll just capture and then play the move e6. And then next, I may play the move knight d7, knight e7. Both are playable. Let's go ahead and play knight d7. I'm going to play c5 in a second here. <coughs> play bishop g5. I'll go ahead and play bishop e7. He captures. I'll ca capture back with them uh, with my knight, developing yet another piece. Um, I will castle. Put this knight on f5. This pawn and is going to go on c5. Um, he wants to go for a checkmate. Go ahead and uh, take this knight out of here, and then we're going to go ahead and castle. Or should I play c5 first? No. So you will probably play knight back to f3. <coughs> He's considering some sacrifice over here on f7 or maybe on e6, but it, they don't work. So, well, he did it anyway. Well, He's down a piece now for nothing. Uh, and out of queen. <laughs> Time to resign. Okay, so that was a very short game. Let's go ahead and analyze that game, and uh, we'll call it a video here since it's the first ever. Okay, so here, e4, after e4, I play the move c6, which is the Karakhan defense. After d4, I play the move d6, or sorry, d5. And here he has uh, three main options. He can either ex uh, take, which is called a. Um, uh, exchange variation, he can play the pawn to e5, which is what he did, which is the advanced variation, or he can play the move knight to c3 or knight to d2, which is the um, classical mainline Karakhan. So he chose to play the advanced variation here. Um, there are many possible, not many, but a couple of possible moves that I've, I've seen before move c5 immediately being played, but the most logical move here is um, bishop f5. You don't want to play e6 because then you that traps you this bishop, kind of like a French bishop. So, bishop f5, bishop d3. It might be a little bit early. Maybe knight f3 is a little bit better, but bishop d3 is fine. Takes queen takes now e6. I've gotten rid of this bishop, which would have been really hard to develop. Knight f3. Here I was debating over playing maybe c5 immediately, but then there comes queen b5 check. I play queen d7, or maybe maybe even sacrifice the pawn on b7, and just play knight to uh, d7. Or I can play um, knight e7 followed by knight f5 or knight g6. Is an idea. What did I do? I play knight d7. C5 coming next. He played bishop g5. I played bishop e7. He took. I took and developed another piece. And he played this move knight to g5. Again, it's just balance a simple opening principle. Don't move the same piece more than one time in the opening. Black, white should probably have just castled or played the move knight, uh, maybe the move c4, maybe the move knight d2. Um, what else could he have done? Just castling seems to be the most logical thing to do. Maybe even knight a3 followed by c4. Um, these are all possible ideas, but knight g5 is just a uh, very unnecessary. 
So he threatened, his idea is basically if I castle, he'll, you know, checkmate me on f7, or h7. Um, well, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> so, I instead put a move h6, which, uh, maybe not f5. H h6 is just, just, you know, just basically saying to black, okay, well, you moved your knight more than once, so I'm going to go ahead and punish that by making you retreat it. And I made a pawn move. Yeah, it could be cost considered a weakness in some cases, but in this case, I don't think it's... Black doesn't have his dark square bishop, and I, I, I just don't see how he can attack the pawn on h7 here. So, or sacrifice at some point. Anyway, so I, he played the move knight takes e6, which is absolutely does not work, because there is no queen g6 check. And even if there was, actually, um, even if this knight couldn't, you know, take back on g6, I would still be just okay because I play King F8, King G8, and there's absolutely nothing for him there. So he did. He played this, and I took, and he immediately played Queen G6, which was his follow-up. But he didn't realize I have a knight on E7, which took to the Queen, and he resigned. So that was a very short game, um, but we'll go ahead and call it a video here, and hopefully the next video will be will be a bit longer and um, a bit more interesting. So till the uh, till next time this is Rocky Chowdhury signing off.